Hi, welcome to Broken Bushcraft. I'm Adam. So disclaimer, real fast. We're in the kitchen today. We're going to be doing some cooking. Um, we are going to be cooking some meat. Uh, so there will be animal carcass of some sort um, shown. If you don't want to see that, then uh, please move on to the next video or move on to a previous video. Just this way you don't have to see it. I give you a disclaimer. So after the logo, we'll, uh, I'll show you what we're cooking. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And then let's kick this off. For those of you who stuck around and want to see what we're doing, or for those of you who are curious to see my meat, um, here is what we have. Squirrel. Some of you are like, what is that? It's squirrel. Tree chicken, wood chicken, tree rat, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to be cooking it a quick and easy, simple way that can be done in the kitchen or out in the woods. Um, the reason we're doing it in the kitchen is because it's easy um, and because most of you have kitchens. So um, now the way we're going to method we're going to be doing it is we're going to boil the squirrels. And the reason we're going to boil them is one is it holds a lot of nutritional value in the squirrel meat. Two is you can make it so you can pull the meat right off the bone and you can then create a lot of different things. You can have squirrel tacos, you can have squirrel, pull, squirrel pulled sandwiches, you can put it on um, salads. You can use it for a lot of things or put it in dumplings. Um, so there's a lot of reasons that we're going to do it this way. So to the pan, to the pot, and really all you need is, I'm going to cover up the logo or something like that, is some salt. That's it. The squirrel have already been cleaned. Um, all we're simply going to do is we're going to add some salt. Just think of like if you're cooking pasta. Um, probably two to, two to three tablespoons of salt. I'm going to be cooking... Um, three squirrels today. So you're gonna fill the pot so just so it's above the the squirrels. That's all you have to do. With some salt in there, you're all right. You may want to add some different seasonings in there if you'd like, um, just to add to it, or add some onions or anything else you want to add, like boil in with it. But that's simply all I have to do is prepare it. The next step we're going to do is we're going to boil, bring this to a boil, and then we're going to drop it to a simmer uh, for about an hour and a half to two hours until the internal temperature of the meat is 160 degrees. So it's very similar to chicken. Now. This is another reason why boiling it and pulling it is really good because you have picky eaters who this is uncomfortable for. Um, also, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can quarter this up. You can cut the back legs off. You can cut the front legs off and then take the ribs out and you have basically four chunks of meat or five chunks of meat that look more like chicken and less like squirrel. So if that makes it easier for you to cook them and eat them, then that's what you got to do. So we'll bring this to a boil and then we'll... we'll uh, carry on from there. It's been an hour and a half, so we're going to check the meat now. Take a meat thermometer, check several spots on it where it's meat. Make sure you're over that 160 mark. It just looks like it's good. Pull these all out of here. Now all you simply do is pull the meat off the bone. Now be careful, the bones are small, so you don't want to get those in there. But just start pulling it, just like you're shredding chicken. Some spots might be tougher than others. That's just the way it's going to go. But put your meat on a squirrel anyways is in their back legs here and in the back. The front arms, these are probably, these. Are, you see how tender these are? Just pulling right off. So there it is. If I serve this to you right now, you would think you were eating chicken. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like dark meat chicken. Um, has the same consistency as chicken. Everything tastes like chicken, right? But there's not a lot of meat that comes off a squirrel. Uh, I think the biggest squirrel was a pound, a little over a pound. 
So you're getting less than a pound of meat off these things. So you're going to have to cook a few of them. Plus, there's not a lot of fat in these things. So when you do eat these, um, they're healthy. There's not a lot of fat in there. They're also as organic as, organic as you can get. Um, but boiling it was just a quick and easy way to do it. Uh, I have one more school to tear up. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. I hope you try it. And I'll see you in the woods.